Howard Bowen came from the campus of Williams College and assumed the presidency of Grinnell in 1955. He understood very well the role of the liberal arts college and quickly earned the respect of the students and faculty. Bowen was one of the most impressive men that I've, I've ever seen. He was tall, he had a erect stature as though he had military training, which he had not had. Uh, and uh, he was always very dignified in his manner. Howard Bowen it gave the appearance of being one of the most scholarly people I have ever known. He also gave the appearance of being somebody who was very confident of himself. He had charisma, he carried a sense of leadership, he was able to lead the faculty, he had clear vision of the kinds of things he wanted done and how we were going to get it there. Well, I was on the interview team that interviewed him uh, and, uh, he, and I asked him the simple question that the most athletic people said, well, what do you think of athletics? And he said, Mr. Fetch, if I had anything to do with it, we wouldn't have any athletics. And I almost passed out and went back and said, well, how, why, how can I vote for this guy? And, it, and it was, he was the guy that, and, 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 and talking when he went back, and this was what, he was going to be it. Well, that was, I, but, and, but with that context, and it, uh, he called me in after he was president, and well, not very long, and we sat down, had a long talk, and I said, you know, uh, Howard, if you came over and really took enough time to look at the, some of the, the, what we do, and you would find out that it, that physical education program is, really contributes to this college. He came over and watch ball games, but then he would call me in and say, this is what I observed. He would take a time to find the names of the kids, and uh, he, was a, he just was a tremendous guy. And from our point of view, athletic point of view, he was just great. Bowen would lead a great building program, during which time Burling Library, the Fine Arts Center, and the Forum were built. He would also prod the rather complacent students of the 50s to action helping them realize that they had a voice in activities on the campus and beyond. 